family that eats together stays together. One chilly winter evening, Ria, Ricky, and the parents decided to stay home and snuggle near the warm bonfire. While mommy was reading a book, Ricky and Papa were building a house of cards. And little Ria munched on some popcorns whilst watching her favorite cartoon. When Ria watched cartoons, she was too absorbed to even hear her mommy. Come on, Ria, it's time for dinner, called out Ria's mom. Ria was wrapped in her world of cartoons and did not pay heed to her mother's incessant calling. <laughs> so funny! Ria chuckled and laughed. Mommy walked over to Ria, grabbed her tablet, and switched it off. Ria, enough of watching TV. Come on, let's have dinner, ordered her mommy. Ria, who was clearly enjoying her show, frowned and followed mommy. Ria and her family gathered at the dinner table. However, Ria was still upset and pretended to not eat her dinner. What's the matter, Ria? Why are you not eating? inquired Papa. Papa, I want to watch my TV show. Why can't I eat and watch my show at the same time? asked Ria. Because dinner time is family time. You can always watch your show later, said Ria's father. But I want to eat and watch my favorite show, just like we munch popcorns and watch movies, complained Ria. Papa looked over at Mommy and smiled. He then grabbed her plate and placed it in her room. Here is your tablet, Ria. There, we have placed your food in your room. You can watch your show while eating there, said Papa. Ria jumped with joy and grabbed the tablet. She rushed to her room where her father had placed her bowl of food, neatly on her study table. Ria chuckled and munched on food. She was having too much fun to notice what she had done. The next day, Ria's food was neatly placed on her study table with her tablet again. Ria could hardly believe her luck. She munched on her creamy pasta and continued watching her favorite TV show. This went on for a few days, and soon, Ria was always eating alone in her room, watching her favorite show. But then, Ria started to miss her family time. When Ria was free, Ricky was busy doing homework. Her parents were busy doing home chores too. One day, she heard Ricky and her parents chuckle and laugh and enjoy some noodles at the dinner table. Ria shut her favorite show and peeped out of her room. Everyone seemed to be enjoying themselves on the dinner table. Ria felt left out and rushed to join her family at the dinner table. Mommy, Daddy, can I sit here at the dinner table? Asked Ria. But what about your favorite show? Teased her father. I can always watch it later, said Ria, coyly. She went up to her mother, hugged her. I am sorry, Mommy. I did not listen to you before, apologized Ria. It is okay, Ria. It is not bad to watch your favorite TV show. But dinner time is the only time the family comes together. So we must eat together, explained Mommy. And that is how Rhea learned to value her dinner time with her family. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Ricky and Rhea loved the rainy season and could not wait to hear the pitter-patter raindrops. They loved making paper boats and jump in the puddle. However, they always came back home drenched and dirty. The muddy footprints would be seen scattered all around the house. Mommy had a tough time mopping the house. Be careful, Ria. Ricky, watch your step, screamed Mommy. The kids would pay no heed to their mother's commands. One day, Mommy decided to play a pretend game. Who is the cleanest? She gave the kids chores to do home for a week. 
She handed cute little mops to her kids. While Rhea had to mop the floor of any dirt, Ricky was in charge of keeping the kitchen table clean. If they did well, they would be rewarded with an extra piece of her delicious carrot cake. The cleaning day was going really well, and the kids enjoyed mopping and scrubbing the floors. Soon, it was time to eat. Ricky and Rhea could not wait to take a bite of the carrot cake. Just then, they heard Mommy and Papa jump with joy. Wow! How I love the rains! Come on, kids! Let's make paper boats and jump in a puddle! Caught out Mommy. But I want to eat carrot cake! Said Rhea. You can eat when you come back! Exclaimed Mommy. And so... They all wore boots and stepped out to play in the puddle. They all jumped one by one. Splash! Sploosh! They jumped and played along. They made paper boats and played ring a ring of roses Soon, it was time to go home. Rhea and Ricky held their parents' hands and walked back home. Rhea and Ricky could not resist the fragrance of the delicious carrot cake. The kids wanted to rush, but since they had worked so hard to clean the floor, they removed their boots and wiped their feet on the floor mat. Rhea and Ricky both stepped inside. They were very careful while walking and did not leave a single muddy footprint. Rhea and Ricky were very hungry and could not wait to take a bite of the crunchy cake. Rhea, in particular, looked around the clean floor and could not wait to get her prize, an extra piece of the delicious carrot cake. Just then, Mommy and Papa rushed inside like two spoiled kids. They stepped inside, stomping muddy footprints all around the house. Rhea was very upset and rushed to stop her mother, walking around in her dirty, murky feet. Mommy! Your muddy footprints are a nuisance! Look at the floor! Mommy replied, Well, that's what happens when you don't clean your feet and enter a room. You will clean it up before you start eating the cake. Am I right, Rhea and Ricky? Rhea and Ricky realized what a trouble they have been to their dearest Mommy throughout the rainy season. Rhea and Ricky hugged their mommy and made a promise that they would surely be careful before stepping inside the house with muddy feet. Come on now, have your cake while I clean the floor, said mommy. And that's how Rhea and Ricky learned to never step inside a home with dirty, murky feet. Always be a good sport. One day, Rhea and Ricky decided to have a running competition in the garden. The fastest runner amongst the two would get an extra share of cookies. Ricky was swift as a rabbit and took quick steps. Rhea ran fast as well, but lost her balance at a turn and fell down. Ricky passed her swiftly, screaming, Come on, Rhea, catch up! Ricky giggled. Rhea stood up again, stretched her leg a few times, and started running again. Ricky won the running competition. Ricky jumped with joy. Yay, I won! Rhea felt sad, demotivated, but then quickly cheered up and congratulated her brother. Congratulations, Ricky. The next day, Rhea and Ricky decided to have another competition. This time, they decided to play a game of table tennis. Ricky and Rhea were both swift and quick. The game was getting intense. Irritated, Ricky threw a really fast and hard shot. The ball hit Rhea on her head, and she fell down. However, Ricky only registered that he scored a point and did not notice poor Rhea fallen on the ground with a sore eye. Yay, I won again, screamed Ricky with joy. Rhea still muttered, Congratulations, Ricky. Hmm? Looks like you hit your head. You'll be fine, said an ignorant Ricky. Rhea's mother rushed to Rhea and inquired about the bump on her head. 
Ricky jumped with joy and interrupted his mother. Yippee! Mom, I won the tennis game! Ricky, did you unknowingly hurt Rhea? Asked Mommy. I did not, Mommy. I was just playing. The ball hit Rhea, said Ricky. Still, you must apologize, Ricky. You must show concern, said Ricky's mother. But I did not do anything. It was the ball's fault, said Ricky arrogantly. It was not his fault, Mommy, affirmed Rhea. However, Mommy noticed that Ricky was not empathizing with Rhea, his little baby sister. He was too happy to win a game. The next day, the mother arranged for the kids to play a game of football. She knew that Rhea was an ace football player. The mother joined them for a game as well. While playing, Mommy purposely kicked the ball towards Ricky. Ricky missed the ball, and Rhea scored a goal. They jumped with joy. Ricky frowned and complained. Mommy, I fell down, so it was easy for Rhea to score a goal. Well, you did not fall down because of Rhea. You fell down because of the ball, so she still gets a point, said Mommy. <laughs> I am hurt. Rhea cannot get a point, cried Ricky. Rhea instantly took the ball and comforted him. I am sorry. Are you in pain, Ricky? Come on, let's get you a band-aid, said Rhea. Ricky was now truly ashamed and realized how selfish he had been. While he was winning a game, he never cared for his sister. But it was only when he was losing, he realized how unfair he had been to his sister. Rhea, I am sorry for being arrogant. I am sorry, Mommy. I will be careful to not celebrate a victory without empathizing with my opponents. P.S. Ricky, remember, a real winner always looks out for others. Mommy smiled and replied, Eat healthy, stay healthy. Ricky and Rhea loved munching on crispy wafers and chips. The sound of the crispy munchies and the tasty crunchy chips makes them so happy. Rhea and Ricky could not stop munching on chips. Um, yum! exclaimed Rhea, making cracking sounds. Ricky filled his mouth with even more chips making louder cracking sounds. Yum, yum, exclaimed Ricky. A packet of crunchy chips would be wiped off within minutes. When Mommy made a carrot soup, Rhea and Ricky would frown, craving for something crunchy. Mommy, I don't want to drink the carrot soup. Can I have some munchies? Asked Rhea. It's not snack time, Rhea. It's dinner time, said Mommy. Rhea and Ricky sulked and continued drinking their soup. However, Mommy was concerned and wanted the kids to not crave so much for munchies. The next day, she packed chips and munchies for Rhea and Ricky's lunch. Rhea was excited to see munchies for lunch. So was Ricky. Why are you packing munchies for lunch, Mommy? Asked Ricky. Well, the chips fairy visited us last night and has left a whole lot of chips for her favorite Rhea and Ricky. So, you get to eat chips all week, said Mommy. Rhea and Ricky looked puzzled and then jumped with joy. Oh, I love chips, fairy, Rhea exclaimed. This continued for a week. Rhea and Ricky did not miss food. They had chips for lunch and chips for dinner and all the time in the middle. But then they would get very hungry in the middle of the night. Rhea and Ricky were tired of the crunchy munchies and wanted to eat something warm and tummy filling. One day, Rhea woke up in the middle of the night and went to her mommy. Mommy, I am still hungry. Can I please have some soup? Said Rhea. Of course you can, Rhea said Mommy. Rhea sipped on the refreshing warm soup 
and smiled, looking at her mother. Ricky joined them as well. Mommy, can we tell the chips fairy to send chips only for snacks time? Said Rhea. Oh, of course, I shall pass the message. Chuckled Rhea's mother. Um, Mommy, your soups are the yummiest. I am sorry I troubled you. I will never ask for chips again, said Ricky. You can enjoy chips once in a while, but it is important to have all kinds of food, said Mother. And that's how Ricky and Rhea learned not to always munch on chips.